Hey, hey, lesson 91, you know what that means? Nah, it probably means something, anyway. Let's do order of operations today and uh, simplify this. And notice this is not an equation. They often use the word simplify for an equation that you don't actually solve. We're not gonna solve the equation, we're just gonna make this into one answer. Well, let's take a look. And what do we do here? Um, this is many uh, symbols of inclusion, the brackets and all that kind of stuff. And you know, just to make this easier on yourself, just do parentheses first, okay? And that's the correct order anyway. So I'd go ahead and go like do something like this. And I'd go minus three, minus two, that's gonna be negative five plus one is negative four. Then subtract. And then if you want to do this, just keep your bracket there. And let's just go these parentheses first. Negative 5 will be the answer to this. And then times 4, you can end your bracket. And again, we're going to be doing, you know, make sure you do an order of operations. Okay, so let's, uh, that's multiply. We'll do that in a second. But let's do this first here. And I'm going to negative 2 times negative 4. And then we're going to do the opposite of negative 5 times 4 is negative 20, right? So we can just, if you want to just do this in one step, just the opposite of negative 20 is 20, like that. Now we can go negative four times negative two is eight plus 20, 28, there you go, okay. And you know, I think probably 90% of the mistakes people make on these is just because maybe you, you copy a negative sign down wrong or forget a parenthesis or something like that. So just be careful on these, okay? Let's try another one. These look terribly complicated, but they're just, they're just, you know, they're just something you do over and over and over again, you know, and you just do it in the right order. That's all you need to worry about. So pause and copy if you need to or not. Okay, well, let's take a look. Let's do the parentheses first here. I got my negative two there. And look at this though. You don't just go negative two minus three, then multiply by five, right? Inside here, you have to do this part first. So if you wanna do an extra step, go right ahead. So I got negative two minus, and then you can just do three times five is 15. And again, don't get caught up on, wait a minute, is that a negative five or, or, uh, or a minus 15? Just, is it minus three or, my, oh, I don't, you can think of it if you want to, it's just ignoring the negative two and going negative three times five is negative 15. Or you can just say negative two minus something, minus what? Three times five is 15. You'll get the same answer if you do it right. So, okay, so minus two and then the bracket. And then again, look at this, make sure you do that first. Three minus five, that is negative two. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do negative two times two and put negative four and then add the plus two at the very end, it's okay. But let's keep on our order of operations correct though, right? So here we're first, we'll do <clears throat> negative two minus 15 is negative 17. And then negative two, and then negative four plus two is negative two, all right? So a negative times a negative is a positive. So that'll be positive 34, all right? And we will get, uh, let's see, that'll be minus. If you just want to put minus and copy this down. And if you just want to go, okay, two times negative two, um, you can go, all right, that'll be two times negative two is negative four. Alternately, if you would like to go, okay, I'm just going to take this whole thing here and multiply by the whole thing here, then you're going to get negative two times negative two is positive four, right? Well, that's the same thing as the opposite of negative four, right? So we just have 34 plus four either way, and the answer is 38. There you go, okay? All right, look on page 286, try those practice problems and come back when you are ready. Okay, can I give you a little hint there, didn't I? All right, so let's do the first one here. Um, looks very complicated, but let's just do it a little bit at a time. So negative two, and then we'll go, that's gonna be negative eight minus, and bracket there, six, and then let's do the inside. Negative two plus eight, that's six. Plus two, that's the inside, all right? And that's gonna be a multiplication, and let's see here. We can, you know, treat that as one thing, and then this is our parentheses, and let's go ahead and do six times six is gonna be 36, plus two is 38. So that'll be minus 38, and if you notice this, it doesn't really make a difference if you do this first or that first because this will not affect this at all. So negative two times negative eight is positive 16, all right? 
So we got that down. 16 minus 38, all you need to do is go, all right, forget this, absolute values. 38 minus 16 is 22. And let's see, that's a 16, a positive 16, and a negative 38. Which one's farther away from the origin? Uh, negative 38 is, so that is our answer, negative 22. Boom. Okay, pause it and try the second one. Okay, same thing here. Let's do parentheses first. That's going to be 4 times 1. That's just 4. We can do that in our head, right? Then a bracket. I got a 3 here, and this part here will be negative 10, and then that'll be plus 2. Okay, then 4 minus, okay, bracket there, 3 times 10, negative 10, excuse me, is negative 30. Negative 30 plus 2 is negative 28. And 4 minus a negative 28 is the same thing as 4 plus 28. And there you go. There's the answer. Okay. All right. That was 91, a special, special episode of Pre-Algebra with Saxon 1. See you next time.